ETH Zurich has been engaged in smart farming for years. Several groups from different disciplines develop solutions to make agriculture more eco-friendly, efficient and sustainable. In short, smart. A team of two robots cooperates in the framework of the EU project Flourish. A flying robot detects properties of an agricultural field and a driving robot performs activities in the field. For example, in a sugar beet field, the flying robot maps spots, as displayed here in a colour-coded depiction, with high weed density or spots in the crop canopy or soil that look stressed. These maps are then transferred to Bonnie Rob. Bonnie Rob then uses its more precise camera systems and moves towards the positions that seem to show most severe symptoms and takes a closer look. Bonnie Rob can distinguish several weeds from each other and from the crop, a success reached via a high number of training images evaluated with machine learning approaches. On site, Bonnie Rob can then spray pesticides or remove weeds mechanically, as performed here via stamping. This and other applications have been co-developed in Eshikon, the agricultural research site of ETH. In Eshikon, you can find the so-called field phenotyping platform FIP with its 24-metre-high masts that allow for positioning of an ingenious sensor head. The sensor head is equipped with colour cameras, but also with thermal and hyperspectral cameras, as well as with a 3D laser scanner. The sensor head can be positioned at each desired location on top of the field and can perform high-resolution images, for example of small plots of different wheat cultivars. FIP is a worldwide unique installation that has been in operation since 2016 and that helps in pursuing two aims. On the one hand, plant breeding is improved by quantifying differences in growth performance, disease resistance and other parameters of cultivars of major crops. On the other hand, it serves as a reference station to improve procedures of image analysis that are to be applied in agricultural field robots in the near future. This research contributes towards achieving high yields with diminishing amounts of fertilizers and pesticides. In the immediate vicinity to FIP, there is the Research Centre for Agricultural and Veterinary Sciences, Agrovet Strickhof, that was established in 2017. Agrovet Strickhof is operated as a joint platform by ETH Zurich, University Zurich and the Agricultural Competence Centre Strickhof. Here, higher education and research are combined with the practical needs of agriculture. Cattle is the focus of attention. Several herds are kept in state-of-the-art stables and are digitally surveyed, fed and tended. For example, a suite of sensors facilitates behavioural monitoring of each individual cow, but also the analysis of feed intake, milk yield and composition. The cows can roam around in the stable freely. Here you can see how a cow moves to the automatic milking systems. The blue tag on the bottom of the cow's collar informs the milking robot which cow is about to enter. The teat cups are applied with a laser-supported robotic arm to the teats of the udder. During milking, the milking parameters are registered for each individual teat, allowing for conclusions on possible disorders or diseases. In a special facility, the so-called respiration chambers, the animal's metabolism can be fully investigated. The respiration chamber is an airtight enclosure in which the cow is fully surveyed in terms of indigestion, rumination, digestion and excretion. The gas exchange of the animals is measured, allowing for quantitative and qualitative investigations of, for example, connections between feed and greenhouse gas emission potentials of the metabolizing cow. But also completely new ways to perform agriculture are currently being evaluated at ETH. Why should crops and animals always have to adapt to our technical systems? What if we would turn the tables? If we could build a robot that does not need machine tracks and flat terrain, but that can walk through the fields like a dog? This 
is the strength of Animal, the walking robot system of ETH, which first set foot on a crop field in 2018. Animal can bring the camera systems that are installed in FIP or Bonnie Rob very close to the plants. It walks through the fields without damaging the plants or the soil. Its feet could serve as carriers for sensors to monitor parameters such as soil moisture, compactness or nutrient availability. Drones can also help controlling and advising animal. A swarm of drones surveying different areas of a large field could interact and could communicate with walking robots. Animal is agile enough to navigate across lines of apple trees, to take a look when and where exactly damages, pests and diseases are spreading. It can determine where flowers and young fruits have to be thinned for an optimal management of the orchard. So, communicating aerial and ground robots can flexibly be sent to locations that are hard to reach for traditional machines. Animal can also be equipped with manipulator sprayers or other actuation devices. Admittedly, these are dreams for the future. But today, we need to start establishing solutions for the future and for the interest of a form of agriculture that deserves to be called smart, that focuses on technological possibilities, environmental protection, animal welfare and the interests of society, farmers and consumers alike.